I saw this video on TikTok of this giant foam paper airplane, and I thought it was so cool. I went on YouTube and I started looking at all these other videos of these giant foam paper airplanes, and the first thing I noticed is that all of the wings are flat and don't actually have an airfoil shape to them. Now, while perfectly flat wings do in fact create lift, the force that keeps the plane in the air, having an airfoil shape to the wing is much more optimal for increasing glide distance. Now there is a ton of physics that would go into creating the perfect wing shape for design of an aircraft like this giant paper airplane. But I kind of wanted to just take a stab at it and see if we could create a little airfoil shape to the wing to see how it would fare by being thrown off of the tallest point in the Santa Monica Mountains to see exactly how far it would go. For all the engineers out there, please forgive me for probably using the wrong terminology. We first started creating our wing design with a really large hump in the airfoil, and we thought that was going to work really well because it kind of looked closest to a paper airplane. But then when we tested it, we found out that it really just added too much weight to the overall aircraft, and while it did go very straight, it kind of sunk really quickly as well. We then tested if the airfoil shape had any benefit at all and just totally removed it. And when we threw the glider, it, it went pretty far, but then it tipped up and it kind of stalled mid-air. And so the result is, is that the airfoil shape does add some benefit, but that it just needs to be thinner so that it doesn't add too much weight. So here's what we think the winning design will look like. We thinned out our airfoil right here, and it is quite a bit lighter. And one thing to mention is that this is like super not aerodynamic. <laughs> you can see how it's literally just like, the air is just gonna like hit right here. It's not gonna be sleek. There's really not this like smooth airfoil shape. I realize that. And airfoils in fact don't have to be super sleek to work. The wing shape of a dragonfly is super wonky and you can actually still get the benefits of an airfoil without it being super sleek. This is what we think is going to work. So the best thing ever just happened. We rolled up to the park and uh, these guys are doing construction out here and they were like, hey, do you want to throw it off of what's called the zoom boom? And of course we were like, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and give this uh, its its new maiden voyage with our new airfoil design off of that big giant piece of equipment. All right, let's do it. And Which direction do you guys want to throw? Hey, touch I basically Liz. just want to avoid the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Pick the only tree yeah, within two mile radius. <laughs> the thing is it wraps around. Pitch this side first, then the other. And then when you're on it, you just hook it off anywhere. He's gonna throw the plane now, test number one. That's a really good view from up here. Yeah. Wow, look at downtown. Liz, thank you, that was so great. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so we have time for one more. We're going to remove the airfoil entirely, which we just did. And so I'm gonna aim just a little bit different, a little bit more towards the, the city on this one. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go over the trees. And if it doesn't, well, we've got this big giant lift, so that's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're just gonna see what happens, uh, sending it a little more in line with the wind. We want it to glide as much as possible. So I think if I huck straight that way towards the valley, then I think it'll probably clear these trees, oh, I yeah. think. Test two, are you ready? Two, one.
Okay, so that proves our point. You definitely need a little bit of the airfoil or else you get that, which is essentially it's stalling out halfway through. Like a pro. There we go, absolute proof that the airfoil makes a huge difference. I still think the airfoil perhaps is adding too much weight, but as we saw, without the airfoil at all, the plane does this weird stall thing and it kind of floats backwards. We're going to cut it one more time and then we're going to assume that that's going to be the optimal uh, airfoil shape since we don't really have any, really we don't have much more airfoil left to cut. And then we're going to take that airplane and we're going to throw that off of Sandstone Peak. I just 12 inches from the center point. We're just going to connect this dot all the way to the end. And that'll be our little teeny tiny airfoil. As a weight reducing measure, we're going to be using masking tape. We're going to be lining the new airfoil a little bit closer to the edge here so that it gives it a little bit more of that harsh bulge to the airfoil shape. So if you're an engineer and you have a better design for this, hit me up at heynickuhouse at gmail.com. I would love to know if you guys have an idea for how to make this uh, sort of setup function better. So have you right now? I already feel it in the glutes. First hike of the new year. This thing also doubles as a sombrero. That's cool. Thanks, man. We we put a little airfoil in the front. Yeah. So it's oh, a little like little nose heavy. So that, that it, is cool. It shit. can kind of battle right. that oncoming sea breeze, you know? Yeah. Well, <laughs> are you guys throwing that like a Hell proper yeah. airplane? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Did you make it yourself? We did. Or? Have fun! That's awesome. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, Thank that. you. <laughs> Good lines, right? Yeah. yeah. Conditions are perfect. There's literally like no wind, meaning I don't think it's going to blow too far, of course. All right, things are looking good. One. Flight. Exceeded expectations by a lot. It has finally landed way over there. Two thumbs up. That was a phenomenal flight and we had the GoPro on it. We finally figured out the right balancing between the airfoil and the weight distribution. I think the GoPro was perfect because it, it allowed us to figure out where the aircraft would glide as opposed to get too much lift and then fall backwards stall. And so I, I couldn't be happier. That was an insanely long flight. Great success. And that's gonna be really easy to recapture because the trail is right there. So all the way around, amazing. It's even like a path. A path. Yeah, it, it just was such a great flight. I, I've said it so many times, but it just was so perfect. And it's standing up straight. I mean, it was just, it was just totally, it was mint. Okay, there we go. We started out with an idea of just improving the giant foam paper airplane by getting rid of the flat wing. We came up with several designs and finally landed on one that worked and it worked really well. If you are an aspiring engineer or you are an engineer, please hit me up at heynickuhas at gmail.com um, and let us know if you have any design plans or plans to improve this design uh, with a little baby airfoil. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and see you really soon.